Welcome back to NSTV Travel Blog. This time we're taking a breather from planes and boats, heading to our next destination by land. It may just be the perfect getaway for you because it's just a few hours from Manila. Yes, uh, because uh, airfare right now is very costly and uh, it's not practical for a group, for a big group. And this episode, we're taking the Gili Ocavango for the ride, heading to another stop, Mapanwepe Lake. Mapanwepe Lake. You know, but this episode is extra special because we just came from Cebu, the tourism uh, summit 2023, where we got the special recognition. You know? So thank you again to Nico Negosho for this uh, special award, the Travel Content Creator Award. Yes, yes. and then if you haven't seen the video, if you haven't seen the video, we'll put the link here. Okay. That's right, and you know we we've been to Mapanwepe Lake. If you have been watching our vlogs, you no, know? but unfortunately the time we were there, uh, we only spent a few hours because by the time we got there, it was about sunset already. So we decided we'll go back there actually spend an overnight camping if you haven't seen that episode we'll put the link up here so it's time to load up and hit the road Can you drive now? Later, Bob. Can you drive now? Later, Bob. How about now? Can I drive? Soon, Bob. Soon. Lake Mapanwepe is one of the newest tourist destinations in the Zambales province. It's situated in Barangay Aglao, in the municipality of San Marcelino. It's the perfect place for family and your barcada for some laid-back and chill camping. There is no electricity and no cell phone signal at Lake Mapanwepe, so better prepare and make sure to bring your basic camping essentials. Best to bring a power station if you can for electric fans, lights, and cooking needs. There are two routes available to get to the lake. You can take the easier path with a boat ride from the Mapanwepe Lake View Deck for a fee of 500 pesos or 10 US dollars for every 5 people. And expect to pay for the environmental fee of 30 pesos or 60 cents per person. The Bangka or Pump Boat Ride usually takes about 10 minutes to the campsites. Or you can choose to take the adventurous and scenic drive that will take you directly to the campsites. Either way, the entrance fee at the campsite is 50 pesos or $1, while the pitching of a tent is free of charge. Wow. Wow. Grab it. It's even better than the last time we were here. Really picturesque, no? Yeah, and above all, we have more time to chill and enjoy the place and that we're staying overnight here. That's right, and you see there are a lot of campers here, a lot of people staying overnight, so I guess a lot of you know guests have actually found out about Lake Mapanwepe. So, come on, 
Let's explore. Nice. Let's go. Here we go. Oh, it's so hot and humid outside. Yep. Oh. That's why I'm so glad we brought, we decided to bring the Okavango here. No, it's, it just makes yeah. it more convenient. Every time it's too hot outside, we can always go in and enjoy the space and the air conditioning. Yeah. The lake spans about 500 hectares and is about 20 to 25 meters deep. But unfortunately, swimming is not permitted due to the mercury content in the water. You can say it all in silence Fetty with a silver lining Every moment falling into place Carrying a heart of promise Every word is pure and honest Holding on to everything you say We could leave the world behind We could start a Hi guys, fortunately there are no stop and people now going out from their tents and enjoying the outdoor. Yeah, but I think it's a blessing in disguise. It was really humid um, the time that we were having lunch. Fortunately with the rain it got cooler. Um, I'm not sure if you can actually see behind us, but there's um, parang ano, fog, no? some sort of fog behind us. Yeah. Gives you a sense of how cooler, much cooler it is now. So at this time, we're gonna go check out um, another site here in Mapanwepe. We heard you can take a bangka or a boat ride for 1,000 pesos and they'll bring you to this uh, sunken church, which is about an hour's boat ride away. Are you up for it? Okay, let's go! Unfortunately, it rained again. That's right, so our plan to go around the lake got spoiled and we did get a chance to see the sunken uh, church. No? Sunken church. If we're coming here from Manila, you have to take the NLEX, SETEX, Subic, Castillejos, and San Marcelino. And make sure that you have to look for a tour guide to, to uh, drive tour you, you, tour you here in Mapanwepe. You might get lost, you know. Yeah, it can get tricky, so our advice is for you to book a tour guide who's familiar around the area. So we'll put the link and contact details of the tour guide that we actually use for this trip. Uh, one other fact, uh, this place is called by the locals as the New Zealand of the Philippines. Yes. Why? Because it's really filled with high, tall pine, pine trees. trees and it's really green grass, green grass everywhere. everywhere and you see a lot of animals roaming around yes. and this has really become a favorite popular camping popular. site no. mm. um, it, but you know this place only got some really popular after uh, Pinatubo, Mount Pinatubo erupted in 1991 what happened was Manu Ma Mapanwepe was actually a river then 
but because of the ash fall, it got blocked from the main river, and so it was turned into a lake. Yes. Ergo, now it's called Mapanuete Lake. Mapanuete Lake. So that's a few trivia and facts and tips about Mapanuete Lake. Oh, come visit Mapanuete Lake. Anyway, we still have the night, we still have tomorrow, so try to enjoy the place. There are three campsites, or what they call phases, in the expansive area. Phase 1 is a secluded campsite, best for campers who prefer a less crowded area. On the other hand, if you're looking for a picturesque camping scene and a better view of the lake, then Phase 2 would probably be best for you. While Phase 3 is perfect for those who can't stay off the grid for a long time, it's the only area that actually offers Wi-Fi service. It's dinner time and time to eat. Yeah, and we know it's dinner because everybody's walking towards the food area. So let's go. Have dinner. Yeah, like you carefree. Everything is gonna work. We just had our dinner and uh, kudos to Sir Ventures uh, with their sandwiches food, delicious food. And um, I'm glad that we came back here mm. because uh, I had to experience again the enchanted place, the nature, the scenery. Yeah, really nice. But even more now, even so more so now, we're staying overnight. Yeah. I mean, compared to the first time, you really feel that you're in a rush in nature, right? Uh, very relaxing. A good place to go to, no? When you're when you're stressed in Manila. Mm -hmm. But for you guys who are thinking of coming here, uh, bring friends, bring family. It's a nice place to hang out, bond. There are a lot of activities. You can probably, you know, of course, serve food have drinks but they also have activities like ATVs they biking. have yeah biking you can take a boat to the sunken <laughs> church um, and do meditation or simply just still you know, and enjoy nature at its finest yes but enough of that it's been a long day and it's time to get some rest here at Mapanuepe anyway we still have tomorrow morning oh you know? yes but for now I guess it's a good night. Okay. Good night. Good night. I want to get sleep in this place. So I found the perfect spot tonight. So this is really a good night. I'll see you tomorrow morning. I definitely slept like a baby. And imagine waking up to this. The sun rose over the valley the first time in a while It feels like a new dawn is breaking And I'm free to laugh like a child Is this what it feels like to be right where you're meant to be? This is a new beginning the best part And with us is another tourist here in Lake Mapanuete and your name is Good morning and thank you so much I am MJ Hingpes and and uh, what makes you come back here in Lake Mapanuete um, honestly, it's because of the nature, you know, the serene place, um, very calm, very mystical, you know. And we are all stressed out in the outside world and we need to find a place where we can have a me time and this place is the best place to go. Okay. 
And um, I've heard you always uh, join this Surf Venture Explore. Yeah, Surf Ventures. No, um, the organizer is a good friend of mine, and I like the company. I'm um, building new friendship and then connecting with um, people. So I really like Surf Ventures. Mm. So how many how many times have you been here? in Lake Mapanuete? Honestly, it's my fourth time here fourth in Lake time. Mapanuete. So, um, aside from Lake Mapanuete, where, where have you been with this uh, um, I've group? been to Humalig with or Humalig Island, yes, Real Quezon, and I'm planning to go to Mount Pulag this June, with Sir Ventures, of course. Okay, thank you very much, MJ. Thank you so much. And uh, hope to join you in upcoming... Uh, of course, definitely, uh, thank you. ...tour. Bye. Bob, I'm glad we decided to come back here to Lake Mapanwepe and camp overnight. It was really a rejuvenating experience for me. Yeah, same here. And we made a lot of new friends. And also uh, friends that want to escape the uh, chaotic or stressful life in Manila. That's right. And it's very accessible, three, four hours away from Manila. We hope you enjoyed the vlog. And if you did, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell for updates and upcoming videos. And if you have any suggestions on where else we can go, please write them down in the comment section below. And with that, I'm Bobby. And I'm Herbie of, of NSTV, NSTV Travel, Travel Blog. Blog. See you at the next stop. See ya. Bob, wanna drive? Yes. Okay.